Hi there, I want to answer a question I receive pretty often regarding the cardinality of sets with repeated elements. Let's quickly make sure we're all up to speed on our terminology and notation. Here's a basic question. How many elements are in this set? Easy. It has A, B, and C. So the set contains three elements. The answer to the question is three. And here's a couple other ways we could say that with some notation and terminology. The number of elements in a set is the set's cardinality. So we could say that the cardinality of this set is three. It has three elements, so its cardinality is three. And some notation we use for that is shown here. Let's say we call this set S just for convenience. Then N of S, also sometimes written with absolute value bars, like the magnitude of S, that is the cardinality of S. So those pieces of notation both represent the number of elements in the set. The cardinality of S is three. Now the question I want to discuss is what if S has repeated elements? Here is an example of what I'm talking about. What if our set is this? It contains A, A, B, C, B, and A. So it has some elements multiple times. How many elements are in this set? Well, what you have to remember with sets is that they are not concerned with duplicate elements. Elements can't be repeated in a set or at the very least, doing so is not significant. A set is purely determined by the elements that are in it and the elements that aren't in it. So if we look at this set S, we might ask, is A an element of S? Yes, it is. And as far as the set is concerned, that's all that's important. It doesn't matter that A happens to appear here three times, a is an element of S, and that's the end of the story. So when we're writing out sets, since they are not concerned with duplicate elements, they really should not be written with duplicate elements. There is nothing inherently wrong with this, but if nothing else, it could at least be considered bad form. So S, if it's equal to this set, by definition of a set, it's also equal to that set rewritten without the duplicate elements. The elements of this set are A, B, and C. Those are the distinct elements of the set. And the elements of this set are A, B, and C as well. So they are the same set. Sets do not distinguish between an element appearing once or multiple times. That's just not a thing that happens in a set. Either an element is in a set or it's not in a set. So how many elements are in S? The answer again is just three. This set is the same as this one. They both just contain A, B, and C. That's three elements. So still, the cardinality of S is equal to three. Sets do not distinguish between an element occurring once or multiple times. So why would we ever write a set with elements being repeated? Well, if we write an element multiple times, perhaps we're talking about a multiset. So this is a different type of object. It's not a set, it's something different. It's a multiset. I don't wanna tell you all about multisets in this video. I just want you to understand that they exist. In a multiset, the number of times an element appears is important. And so that would impact the cardinality of a multiset. Here's an example. If M is a multiset and M equals the same set we were looking at a minute ago, A, A, B, C, B, A, we could also write that like this. This is some common notation for multisets where we put what's called the multiplicity of each element in the superscript. The multiplicity is just the number of times an element occurs. A occurs three times, and so you see that indicated in its exponent. B occurs twice, and so on. So if this is a multiset, what's the cardinality of that set M, that multiset? Well, multisets are concerned with repetition. That is important. So in this multiset, 
the cardinality, cardinality of m is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which we could also find by adding up the multiplicities, a multiplicity of 3 plus a multiplicity of 2 plus the unwritten multiplicity of 1 gives us 6 total elements in the multiset m. So that's how multisets work, just a little taste of it anyways. But with normal sets, repetition is not important. So if you've got a set that's written with repeated elements, you should really just rewrite it without the repetition, because that's what the set really is. I'm so tired.